We all know the story of the ugly duckling, the little duckling that was so ugly but yet became the, the beautiful swan. Well, do you know the story of the ugly caterpillar that became the beautiful giant swallowtail? Well, this is the caterpillar, and it looks just like a bird turd, bird poop. The camouflage is so good, nothing would bother to look at it to think it might be a tasty meal. Now, this one is just a little bit larger. It's a little bit older, but you can see the color markings have begun to change a little bit. The orange dog caterpillar is exclusive to the giant swallowtail. Now, the regular swallowtails, uh, they lay their eggs on a lot of different herbs and stuff, but the giant swallowtail only lays its eggs one at a time on citrus trees, and this is a satsuma tree. As the caterpillar grows, the orange dog caterpillar, that's what it's called, as it grows, it goes through a lot of different color changes. I don't know if you can see this one very well, but look at the color changes there, the blacks and the whites. It's, it looks a lot different than what it did before. The caterpillar will get to, uh, to up to almost two inches long, inch, between an inch and a half and two inches long. This one is close to an inch and a half uh, in actual size. But now look at the color markings. The whites have become grays. Uh, the uh, blacks are starting to take on uh, a darker gray bark type color. And this one, if you can see it right here, is one that's basically it's full grown. It's ready to go into the chrysalis or the pupa state uh, to start the metamorphosis to become a giant swallowtail butterfly. Now this one in the video, I actually cut the limb off up here and down here somewhere and I put it in my net box so I could uh, trap it as it became a butterfly and maybe get some better pictures of it before I released it. And this is just to show you one more picture of the fantastic camouflage that these caterpillars go through. Look at this one. It's on the tree on the bark, but the, the markings, you see this up here and this down here, the color markings are almost exactly the same. And this darker area of the bark matches almost exactly with this. They're fantastic in their camouflage. And this is the one I showed you just a moment ago where I cut the limb off and put it in my net box. Uh, the very next day it had gone into the pupa state. And this picture is about uh, 10 days or so, I guess, uh, into it. I'm looking for it to uh, uh, emerge pretty soon. But you can see it's this pupa state uh, is it's different from a cocoon. A cocoon is wrapped around and around and around. And uh, chrysalis is different because it makes like a shell on the outside. Now, this is smaller than the caterpillar, uh, what it was. I don't know how it shrinks itself down to fit into that overnight. But look, this looks exactly like a broken piece of limb. It's a fantastic camouflage. And here it is. It has just emerged with just in a few minutes before. I was just lucky I was on the back porch at this time. And the color of the wings on the bottom side are the opposite of what they are on the top side. Now it's moved up to a high place so that it can latch on and let the wings hang straight down while the wings dry out. Now it's not really a drying process. It's a chemical process and drying at the same time. But while the butterfly is in the cocoon or the chrysalis state, uh, when it emerges, the wings are wet and they've been folded up. So they have to go to a high place and let the wings just hang straight down. Uh, and for the giant butterfly, this takes a half hour to maybe two hours for the wings to harden before it can begin to fly. And it's very important that the butterfly is not disturbed during this time so that the wings can fully develop. Can you see that? Something's been eating the leaves off of the satsuma. Oh, and look up here. This taking all the new growth leaves off. Where is the culprit? Oh look, a bird turd. Not really, that's actually a caterpillar. But it sure looks like a bird turd. I guess that's the way it protects itself so nothing would want to eat it. These ugly, distasteful looking caterpillars turn into swallowtail butterflies. That's the big black butterfly with the yellow spots and edges on its wings. And they're the caterpillar that eats the satsuma trees, citrus trees. We get a few of these caterpillars on a, a satsuma tree every year, but not enough to even cause any damage. So we just leave them alone and let nature take its course. The damage that they do is insignificant to the tree itself. There's another one right there, small one. 
looking behind I see another one over here right there so that's three I think we've already had a couple more earlier in the season and there's number four over there All right, here's another one right here oh we're gonna get some good pictures I hope of the giant swallowtail um, coming out I'll check this one out he's uh basically full grown right there can you see the orange dog caterpillar now at this stage he looks like he's part of the tree just looks like part of the tree right there this one's got to be close to becoming a butterfly all right so we're back at the satsuma it's been a week and we're going to see if we can find the one that went into the crystallist state well here's one right here i just saw maybe we can get a better view of it there he is he's getting pretty big looks like that one's about ready to go into the pupa state as well we need we need to find the one that we've been watching that's been in there for about a week is that it i think that's it right there huh Okay, this one is about to go into chrysalis, so I'm going to go ahead and take him with a piece of the limb. So I'm going to trim off some of this to make sure it'll fit in the box. This one down here, about right there. There he is. See, now he's taking the color of the, of the branch. He's very difficult to see. All right, let me go put him in the box. Well, here he is. Here's the little net box I made. I'm going to put him in here with a piece of this, and hopefully he'll do his chrysalis from right where he's at on this stem. And then, when he comes out of the, of the pupa state, I should have a giant swallowtail butterfly in here. Probably needs to be vertical. That should be good and vertical. Well, checking on the butterfly situation. Let's go, let's see where we're at. If I can get down in here where we can see. Oh yeah, that one's uh, started Cisalis. That's why I've been in here for two days now. Now, well, looks to me like it's a little bit of a different shape. Still looks just like a piece of a limb. Maybe it's starting to emerge. Well, it looks like this butterfly has just come out of the chrysalis. I don't think you can see it through there. Here, go. open the top up. Let me see if I can get on this side. So now it's moving around. Look how big it is. Wow. Well, now he's starting to move around, so it's time to go ahead and do the release. Wow, look how, look how big that is. That's a magnificent butterfly. I've kept the box with a uh, chrysalis on the back porch in the shady area. And now this is the one and only Satsuma tree anywhere around here, and I'm going to release it right here. And there it goes. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, it's still flying around through that way. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking in his wings. Well, that release didn't go as beautiful as I'd planned. I was hoping for the butterfly to come up and land on the tree, but it decided to go a different direction. But on the good side, there's two more in here that haven't emerged yet. So let's put this back on the porch and see if we can get a couple of more. Well, hopefully this release will be a little bit more picturesque than the last one. Oh yeah, he's wanting to come out right now, really. Come on, don't go up there. Don't go up there, don't go up there. There he comes, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, he's gone. <laughs> That was uneventful, <laughs> but he's free.